All right. At 3.35 p.m. What is the date? December 9, 2011. The 22nd? Rolf Tingdale was pronounced dead. He's a friend of mine. I tried to talk to him in the last few weeks about letting me contact relatives to let them know that that he was getting weaker and probably wouldn't be around much longer. But he refused to tell me or anyone at Park Health and Rehab where he was staying anything about any relatives. So I'm posting this so if a relative googled his name they would actually act actually be able to find something about him. So I met him about six, seven years ago when I was caretaker at a night or a night caretaker at a senior's high rise. And when I was no longer employed as a night caretaker, I started giving him and you know, other residents, rides, places, and uh, we just, you know, every month I went on several trips for Rolf, and then he ended up getting hurt, and he ended up at Park Health and Rehab, and I continued to run errands for him and visit him now and then. And wow. about two weeks ago, I was informed that he was having some problems with uh, low oxygen readings in his blood. And actually about two weeks ago, they told me that they didn't expect him to survive the weekend. Well. I brought the video camera over to his place and caught the first little clip of him sitting in the wheelchair then. Then uh, December 8th I stopped in to visit him again and I did a little clip of him sleeping because I didn't want to disturb him and wake him up. And I wanted to share this in case somebody was trying to figure out whatever happened to him. He wouldn't give any names of relatives because he didn't want any relatives doting over him as he was dying slowly. He just passed away in his sleep, we believe, and he was just it was just noticed that he wasn't breathing anymore at 3.35 in the afternoon. So to anyone that is interested in a relative, uh, let me know and I'll tell you a little more about them. So have a good night. Goodbye.